Wondering what the best neighborhoods are to live in in Roanoke? Stay tuned to find out. Virginia. If this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so that you're notified each and every time that we release a video about this wonderful region that we live in where we talk about living, working, and playing and giving you all the inside scoop on what it's like to live here in Roanoke. That's right, and we have folks constantly contacting us saying their friends and family want to relocate mm -hmm. here to either Roanoke, Salem, or Botetai, and we love helping them. So if you're thinking about moving to or living in Roanoke, just send us an email, text us, or even give us a call. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna to talk to you today about neighborhoods and areas that are amazing and wonderful to live in here in the Roanoke area. I know, it's hard to really identify the top five because there's a place for everybody here. Yes. There's so many really neat areas that have their own vibe. Yeah, and so whether you're a family of two, a family of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or you're single, there is a spot for you here in Roanoke that you're gonna enjoy. And so Chris is gonna start off with talking about South Roanoke. That's right, we're gonna explore some of the five most popular ones. So South Roanoke has a lot of history. It was settled in 1750 and it's here where you'll find the medical school as well as the hospital, Carilion Hospital. A lot of healthcare professionals are living in South Roanoke and that drives up the price a little bit. You'll see find some higher end homes here, more historic homes. There's lots of different options for restaurants. Mm -hmm. Luna China is yeah, one so, of our favorite. Yeah, so in Crystal Springs, a little hub of South Roanoke. Crystal Spring Elementary School, mm -hmm. amazing elementary school. And then restaurants, there's Pork in the Alley, River and Rail, and they are just that I die for. And, I, and the chef over at River and Rail, he was on Food Network and actually won it, if I remember correctly. So, and then there's also Pastel, which some friends of ours own. They do pastries, cupcakes, and alfajore, just wonderful stuff, just succulent. And then they have Sweet Donkey, which is a really fun oh, coffee shop. Yeah. But in the evenings, especially in summertime, they have bands come out and it's just a gathering spot, a great yeah. place to celebrate, unwind, relax. Yeah, it's food really truck good. shows up so you can get mm -hmm. food, you can just hang out and it's all fenced in so the kiddos can just hang out. Wow. You can just hang out with your friends and family and just enjoy the vibe down there. Yes, this, this neighborhood is very walkable. Mm -hmm. You can also hop on the trolley and head right to downtown. It's pretty close to downtown, so you'll find a lot of amenities here in South Roanoke. Yeah, and the trolley, just real quick, is it's a hop on, hop off, it's mm -hmm. free, and it runs certain days, you have to check the schedule to see when it's running, but super convenient, super cool thing to do with the kiddos, or if your family's in town, like your mom and dad, then you can take them on a little excursion. So. Or you just don't want to worry about parking downtown. Yeah. One of the most desirable family areas in town, right? Right. So that would be Cave Spring, and also known as South County, we're going to try our best to for those Cave Spring. So why is that such a desirable spot? Because it has an a plus rating on niche.com and it's got amazing schools that's exactly so right. most people when they're moving here especially got families like looking for the most desirable public school areas right so this is one of them if you look at niche.com it will explain that to you in more detail mm -hmm. and it's got a suburban atmosphere again really good for families and retirees you'll find that this area in cave spring is a very hot market mm -hmm. there's a lot of things going on there and just it's a desirable place to live yeah. it is slightly more expensive than the median house home price that you'll find throughout the valley but people that live there are willing to pay a little bit more yeah and so you, you know that I mean supply and demand right so if yeah. you want to live in a specific area you're gonna pay a little bit more so that, that that's just part of it and a couple of our favorite restaurants over oh, there yeah. would be like 419 West mm -hmm. and then also Cafe Asia 2 but some of the best uh, Cafe Asia 2 of course is like Chinese and it is awesome Right, and you're gonna find a lot of restaurants here, quite a few amenities, and retail. Retail is, is really big in this area, and we also, it includes Tanglewood Mall. That's one of our malls around, so yeah. Cave Springs is a great place to be. Yeah, and so with that, 
to get two, two things to talk about. So we're South, South Rona, we're going to talk about K-Spring. And now let's talk about Salem, which is kind of its own <laughs> municipality and entity within the Roanoke Valley, which has a strong commitment to their community. Yes, they are fiercely independent, and it is just a wonderful place to live. Uh, it's kind of funny because you don't see a lot coming available in Salem. I think that once people move here, they just don't leave. And they don't want to leave. And, and within the within the boundaries of Salem proper, I mean, you've got Roanoke College, so you've got a college here, so you've got sporting events there, and you've also got the Moyer Sports Complex, which hosts like national softball tournaments. It, it is like A plus type of facility. And then with the high school, the schools here, great academics, and then also fiercely competitive in their sports, you know, like winning state championships in football and baseball. Forensics. Yeah, forensics, a robotics Robotics. team. They're like winning national championships. It's just absolutely a great place to live. If you're talking and broadening it out to more community-related sports activities and things, there's the Salem Red Sox. That is a really fun complex. They have this huge baseball complex. And also you'll find the Salem Civic Center here, which hosts some nice shows and music concerts and things like the rodeo and a Salem Fair every July. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah, and let's not forget about Salem has its own public golf course. Yes. Right in the city. It's pretty cool. It's like a couple blocks off of Main Street. So you can play golf anytime for super cheap, like 10 bucks, I think, to walk it. And speaking of Main Street, just off of Main Street, you'll find a lot of those historic homes that are still here and they've been renovated and historically preserved. So a lot of historic homes here you'll find. Yeah. And, and so if you're looking for the city centric type thing, you've got, uh, you've got South Roanoke, you've got Salem, where you're really centered around actual close to the city. Where, but then if you want more of a rural feel, where you got some back roads and you've got some space in between you and your neighbors, a little bit more space, then you want to look at Delville, which is a very up and coming type and vibrant spot right now. Right, and that's in Botetai. Uh, Daleville, with this this bloom of Daleville Town Center, it's really exploded that area, brought a more small town feel to it, and with it, a lot of amenities like coffee shops, restaurants, a very nice new YMCA facility. Mm-hmm. So that's been a, a great thing for that area. But this is a place where you're going to step outside and be within minutes. Uh, or even in your backyard to mm-hmm. hiking trails, biking trails, and also those water recreation sports like canoeing, kayaking. So Botetourt has a lot more of that rural feel with some of the amenities that you'd enjoy from the city. Yeah, sure. And, and like we said, kind of in the valley in general here in Roanoke, I mean, you've got super access to outdoor amenities. Yeah. So it's like, it's a quick drive at any moment's notice. But if you're in Delville, it's like she said, it's like literally like you step out your back door or five five minute like walk or whatever. So that's the great thing about there. You got the little bit slower pace, you're outside of the main hub hub of the city. And so then, but if you desire that type of thing, like you want to be in the heart of the city, uh, the big city of yeah. Roanoke proper, then you might consider Old Southwest. Yeah. And so Old Southwest is walkable to downtown, yes. it's walkable to the medical center, it's walkable to the medical college, and it's got a, a couple of restaurants of its own. One thing I love about Old Southwest, it's one of the largest historic districts in all of Virginia. These houses are really beautiful, very historic. They take great pride mm-hmm. in uh, restoring these and preserving these homes. So that's a really neat thing to look around at those houses. And you're talking about a more affordable investment there. You want to talk about price points? We've sold a few houses. Yeah, so, so in Old Southwest, I mean, like you said, you've got historical homes and you've got some that you can buy for like a hundred grand, depending upon the area of to like four hundred and fifty, five hundred thousand dollars, and of course, if you're looking at a hundred thousand dollar house, you're gonna have to do some rehab on that puppy, right? Exactly. But the ones that are four hundred fifty, five hundred thousand, magnificent historical mm-hmm. character, charm, preservation, but it's already been done for you. So it's moving ready, and you're ready to roll, and you're super convenient to downtown. Because there's Highland Park there, which is a great right. place for kids to play. And then there's a dog park. Mm-hmm. And it's 32 acres. This was Roanoke's first public park. So it's a really neat historic area and just rolling hills. It's just gorgeous. Another thing about Old Southwest is that it has a very artsy feel. There's a very diverse group of residents that, com- that make up Old Southwest. So it's a neat area. 
ready to visit. And they are definitely a cohesive unit over there. Yes. They, they take pride in their neighborhood and they really look out for each other too. You know, a couple of properties that we've sold over there, the people just talk about how much they love being there. They must have like, I hate to move, but right. because of the community feel there, because they just feel like they're family. Yes. Now that we've explored the top five areas in Roanoke, if you'd like to check any of these out or some of the other neighborhoods in Roanoke, yeah. please give us a call, send us an email, or shoot us a text. Good, and we'll get the conversation started and get you hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Bye. That was good. Complex, complex. <laughs> and, right. And so anyway, so it's a great place to be. There's plenty more to choose from. Or someone else. Some, okay. Yeah, we'll have to redo that. <laughs> so so thanks for tuning in. We have been able to. Blah, blah, I can't do it today. Okay. So so <laughs> So now that we've shared the five best neighborhoods and areas of Roanoke. <laughs> Now that we've explored the five top neighborhoods and areas of Roanoke, now that we've explored the top five neighborhoods and areas here in Roanoke, what am I gonna say after that? I don't know. That's, we hope you've enjoyed this learning about, okay. Now that we've been, shoot. Now that we've explored the top five areas in Roanoke, Yeah, now, you okay. have to stop because I wasn't looking okay. at the camera, so.